Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. In this video, I'll show you how to make this little lion. I created this easy lion to follow up with the baby lion wall hanging, the city lion amigurumi and the sleep rattle I made for the Etsy shop. The link is in the description below if you want to check out the pattern. And it's a little bit more advanced pattern because of the technique I use for the mane, but if you know the loop stitch, you'll be completely fine. Uh, if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a like, so I know that this is the type of content you want to see in my channel, so I will make more videos like this. And if you have any ideas of patterns that you would like to see here, just leave them in the comment box below, and I will be happy to make them. So let's move on to the pattern. We start here with the magic ring, and if you don't know how to make the magic ring, there is a link in the description of this video that will take you to a tutorial that teaches you the magic ring or the magic circle, okay? So you will make six single crochet inside the magic ring. Super good, close your magic ring and let's move on for the second row. And here on the second row, you will make six increases. So inside of each stitch, you will make two single crochet. That's super good. Moving on for the third row. Here you will crochet one single crochet, one increase, and you will repeat this for six times. All right. So let me show you here. You make one single crochet and one increase, which means two single crochet inside the same stitch. You repeat this all the way around. So you can pause this video and meet me at the end of this row. And I will tell you for the next row what to do. Okay, this is good. So for the row number four, you will crochet two single crochet and one increase. You will repeat that six times. Here you'll have a total of 24 stitches at the end of the row. Okay, so two single crochets and one increase. And you will follow this all the way around. That's good. And moving on for the next row. And this is the pattern now. You'll make here three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, have a total of 30 stitches. So in every row, you are increasing six stitches. Okay? Okay, that's it. One increase. And I will meet you for the next row. You can pause the video and continue later. So for the next row, you will make four single crochet, one increase and repeat that for six times. You'll have a total of 36 stitches. Okay, so four single crochet, one increase, which means two crochet in the same stitch, 
and you repeat that six times. See you for the next row. For the next row, you continue repeating, uh, increasing six stitches. So you'll make five single crochet, one increase, and you will repeat that for six times. You'll have a total of 42 stitches. I always suggest counting how many stitches you have at the end of the rows. So you always know that you are on track with the stitches. This is very important. <laughs> so you can pause the video here now and meet me for the next row. This is super good. So for row number eight, you will crochet six single crochet, one increase and repeat that for six times. You'll have 48 stitches at the end of this row. And this is the last row with increases. Okay, from next row, we'll change a little bit. So I meet you, I'll do this off camera and I meet you for the next row. So here we go, this is what we have. And now you will do only single crochets so you are not making creases or increases so for row 9 to 15 you will crochet 48 single crochet super easy right so here you can pause the video and i will meet you at the end of the row 15. Ta-da! This is great. Look at this. This is how it should be looking now. Your lion head. And here we start with the decreases. So for row number six, uh, 16, you will make six single crochet, one decrease, and you repeat that for six times. You should have 42 stitches in this row. So here I'm going to count my six stitches and my decrease. Great, and you repeat that all the way to the end. You can pause here and I will meet you for the next row. All right, so here we have our first row with the decreases. We'll go for the next row. So here for row 17, you will crochet five single crochet, one decrease, repeat that six times, and you'll have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this row. Okay, that's super good. And next row again with the decreases. You will make four single crochet, one decrease, repeat for six times, and you'll have a total of 30 stitches at the end of this row. Now for the row 19, three single crochet, one decrease, repeat for six times, and you have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this row. That's super good. So for next row, you'll make two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you'll have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this row. So 
So here one, two, and one decrease. You can pause here and meet me for finishing this ball. So here it's the time to add the stuffing material, okay? So you can pause here, you add as many stuffing material you want. I like my heads to be very firm and I add a good amount of stuffing material. This is looking super good. This is how it should be your lion head right now. And we will start for our last row, okay? So here in our last row, row 21, you will make one single crochet and one decrease and you will repeat that for six times. And we will stop with the 12 stitches. I will catch you up for finishing, for closing this ball. So this is how it should be looking like now. Cut the yarn and let's start closing this. How I close my toys, it's very simple. You add your yarn in a sewing needle and you grab only the front loop of the stitches. Okay? So you will grab all the uh, you will grab all the 12 front loop of the stitches and you will pull tight to close. There is in the description below a link that ca that will take you to a full tutorial that shows you how to make how to close perfectly your crochet toy. But here I'm assuming you know already. If not, I'll just go there and check. Super good. So here now we finished, and we will start for the paws. So for the paws, you start with the light brown yarn. And you make six single crochet in the magic ring. So here I go fast because you already did that at the beginning of the video, so you know how to make. So six single crochet inside the magic ring, and then you will make six increases, and you should have a 12 stitches at the end of the row. And I will meet you up for row number three, which is where we change a little bit. So you can pause the video here. Continue your rows, and I will meet you there. Okay, so your detail should be looking like this now. And here, for roll number three, you will work with the back post single crochet. So you will make 12 back post single crochet. There is a link in the description below or here above the screen that will take you to a tutorial on how to make the back post in crochet in case you don't know. But here in the video you can see pretty much how it's done. Okay, so this is good. I will catch you up at the end of this row. And this is how it should be looking, your ball. All right, so for the next row, you will crochet 12 single crochet. Super easy. So I meet you for row number five. So we do our first color change here, our first, this is the only color change we make here. And for the row 5 to 7, you will make 12 single crochet. I will just do the simplest color change here um, for this toy, but if you want to check it out, other ways to do uh, the color change, invisible ways to make the color change, there is a link in the description below or here above in the video 
where I walk you through the four most used ways to change colors in a crochet toy, so you can maybe choose which one is good for you. The one I think is the best will might may not be the same that you think it's the best. So okay, I will continue this off the camera. I'll meet you up at the end of rule number seven. So here we have the details, and you should make, of course, four of them. So you finished four of them. And you come back here so we can start with the years. So here again we will go fast because it's the same thing. You will make six single crochet inside the magic ring and then you make six increases. You will have 12 stitches at the end of the row. And I will meet you up for row number three. Okay, this is super good. So now for row number three to seven, you will just make 12 single crochet. Super easy. So 12 single crochet from row three to seven. I will catch you up at the end. Super good, so this is the first year, you should make another one following the same instructions. So you pause this video here, you go there, you make the other year and you come back so we can do the snout, so we can do the nose of this little lion. You start with the light brown and you chain five. Then you will start crocheting around the chain. So you'll crochet three single crochets and then on the last chain you'll make four single crochet in that same chain and then two single crochets and on the last chain you do three single crochet in the same chain. All right, so you crochet here around. So I arrive here on my last stitch and here I will make four single crochet. Okay, this is super good. And then you continue, you make two single crochet here on the next, uh, one single crochet in the next chain, one next crochet, single crochet in the next chain. And you finish on the last chain, making three single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so you know already how to make, so for the second row, you will make one, one increase, three single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase, three single crochet again, one increase, one single crochet again. You will have 16 stitches. And we will stop here. So I meet you on the next row. So this is how it should be looking like. And now for the next two rows, so for row number three and four, you will make 16 single crochet. And that's it. So I will catch you up for the sewing. So this is how it should be looking like your snout. And now let's start with sewing our pieces together. So we will start with the paws. So you add a little bit of stuffing material.
and you take the head and we'll start sewing uh, two by two okay so the first two and I always like to uh, fasten with pins so while I'm sewing it will not move around so I'm just attaching my pins here and you take the center of the toy to be the guide okay of your of where you're sewing the things and it's very simple you take one stitch from the ball and one stitch from the paws from the legs so remember to count that from the legs you need to have 12 stitches right so while you're sewing just count it until 12 and make sure that you don't miss any stitch because it can be seen nothing to specific but sewing is an i think important thing in amigurumi so go slow check if everything is correct and that's it and you go like this you go slowly you take one stitch here from the leg and one stitch from the ball all right and you go removing the pins along the way I will leave you here, you can pause this video now, and I will come back when I finish sewing all of this. Here we go, we, here we have now everything inside, the center is the center of the four legs, now we will start with the ears, okay? Here again I use the same process, I add uh, pins. If you want to know like the exact position that I I had I saw my ears you can check in the description below there is a link to a blog post with the full details about this pattern but here as I am creating while shooting I will just see where it looks symmetrical to me and I will sew it there and here is the same thing you see that I don't sew together the ears like one side to another because I like to sew each stitch from the ears, I think it looks nicer for me. So here we have 18 stitches, right? So just make sure to take one stitch from the head and one stitch from the ears, 18 times. So here I'll just leave you showing a little bit how I make this. And then I will meet you at the end for the snout. This is super good. Now I repeat the same process with the nose. And I add the pins and I sew it all around. Take one stitch from the head, one stitch from the nose. But before closing, then you add the stuffing material. See? When you're almost at the end, you stop a little bit and then you add the stuffing materials. So now for the detail above the, his nose, we will chain five and we'll just make a very simple piece of detail here. So you chain five and for row one and two, you make four single crochet. You make four single crochet, chain one and turn. And I will meet you for the row number three, which is very simple also. Okay, so here we are, I will chain one and turn, and here you will decrease one stitch, okay? So you'll make one single crochet, one decrease, one single crochet, and you have three single crochets in the total. You'll fasten off, and you leave a small tail for sewing, and we will catch, catch up there.
Okay, this is super good. We have here our nose. Again, I will fasten with pins. That helps me a lot. And I will sew it this detail here. And I come back here with you. I'll do it off the camera. It's super easy. Anyways, just make sure to finish here in the middle of the nose and use the leftover yarn that you that you were sewing with to make a small line until halfway of its nose. Okay, this is super good. <laughs> Look at this. I will fasten this off and I will come back for the main. And here, what we are going to do is you will attach the yarn, the brown yarn, and you will crush it on the surface of the face, loop stitch. Okay, super easy. This is how I attach the yarn. I will just leave this with the pin for now. And at the end, when I finish making all the loop stitch, I will fasten off this um, yarn. I will secure, of course, and then fasten off. But for now, I'll just leave it like this. Chain one, and you'll start making the loop stitch. It can be a bit um, hard at the beginning, but then you'll get the way and it goes super fast. And here is a little bit hard for me because I'm hugging the camera. The position is really not nice, but I hope you can see it pretty well how to make. If not, just search for some tutorial on how to make the loop stitch and it's the same thing. So we have here the first loop. I will do one more, so you see. And I did this toy with the yarn under the needle, so it's very tight for me. Okay, this is super good. And you go all the way around his face making the loop stitch and i think this stitch is so perfect to make his mane it's just a little bit hard to do it on the surface but i hope you like the result so it's encouraged to make it right i'll just add this around uh, his head, so I made some three times back and forth. Here, it's where I start. So here is good for finishing. So here I will finish fast enough and I will come back for us at the tail. Okay, super good. So here we have the mane. I will fast this off. It's looking very nice. I didn't add many layers. I think three layers is nice. It gives a nice result. But here in the middle of the years, it needs to be a little bit more. And now let's start for the tail. For the tail, it's very, very simple. You will attach the orange light brown yarn. And here you will chain nine and make, skip the first chain and make eight single crochet. And that's it. So I will catch you up at the end. And here we are at the end. So you finish making connecting this with one slip stitch. That's it. I will cut this off and fasten off and I will meet you for the face or the eyes. Look at this. Very nice. So here we have, this is the tail looking very good. Now let's start with the eyes. I add 
some pins just for me to find the best position for the eyes. And here I will first show you how I embroider the eyes. If you are using safety eyes or plastic eyes and need to know the exact position for this, there is a link in the description below with the pattern and everything that you will need, everything where I saw the, the things on the lion is there. So you can check it out. So you can add while you are crocheting it. Basically how I embroider the, uh, the eyes, it's I make a lot, a bunch of straight lines and then I go embroidering around making a contour around the, those straight lines I just made. Okay, I will go fast and I will make this other one off the camera. Okay, and that's it. This is the final lion. I really hope you enjoyed this pattern. Uh, if you like, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for being here and see you in the next time. Bye!